I'm so in shock at this place. It is the biggest disgrace known to man. Viewed close to two million times, this seething rant about Toronto's Pearson Airport from a former NHL player is echoing far and wide at a time when Canada's tourism industry needs a boost. There is a 400 person line with two Air Canada workers. So I waited in that line about six hours. Be it near the end of the line, they closed it. They just said, oh, you have to go somewhere else. How much folks have you just joining the security line? Extreme delays have frustrated passengers finally trying to vacation for weeks. I'm hoping that I don't miss my flight. So far, I'm, I'm okay. That's why we came early today. You need to be prepared and you need to be flexible. We're making sure that we're not booking people on tight connections. While the problems are mostly at Pearson, they affect travelers across Canada. That's our gateway to Europe. It's our gateway to the Caribbean. And so I'm having to talk with clients every day. They're weighing the pros and cons of should we go on this trip to the Caribbean because do we actually want to travel through Toronto? Pearson blames passengers being held on planes, 53% in the last week of May, and calls on the federal government to drop inbound public health requirements. We could go back to pre-COVID normal. That would have a huge impact, but then hiring more staff to, uh, to be able to work security would be obviously very helpful. It was something we could have predicted, and the government should have moved earlier. This is a global context. Having said that, we have to do something. The transport minister says security weights are improving, but can't say when everything will be fixed, calling it gradual. Airline companies have not returned to full schedule yet. Uh, there are still some employee issue, labor shortage issue. Uh, there are some process issues. Another equally pressing problem, passport renewal delays. The government blames an unprecedented surge in demand. The opposition says it was totally predictable. Service Canada hired an extra 600 people and plans to double that in the next several weeks and reassign 600 more with passport experience. But there's no clear answer as to how soon the backlog will be cleared with the summer travel season on our doorstep. Chris? All right, Abigail, thank you. That's Abigail Beeman in Ottawa.